Hey guys, what's up? This is Shlomo from the British Minecraft. Um, today, doing a little quick tutorial on how to set up your own private server on Minecraft using Bucket and Hamachi. So, the first stuff you're going to need is you're going to need to go to Google and type in Hamachi. Oops, no E. Hamachi, and then you want to go to the setting link. Uh, it's made by LogMeIn, which is a respectable company. They do uh, remote access software. Go to get started, and then you want to tick the current terms and the conditions, whatever, and you want to get the unmanaged one, and you download it here. <coughs> and you're going to get it, you're going to run it, and you're going to get uh, this little screen. You're going to have to press this on button here on the start. I just uh, delete network. Yes, right. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get this, and then be blank. And then it, oh, you go to network. And then if you're making the server, go to create new network, and then put in your network what you want it to be called. So we're just gonna do the British Minecraft. Put a password in. One, two, three, four, five. Um, create. So you create your network. So now, when uh, your friends will have to get this as well. So you come on here. They go to join existing network. They put in the name of your network and your ID, and then they'll join the server. Like I've got all my friends on here when we play our private server. Um, so you, that's how you get your friends on. Second thing you're going to need is Notepad plus plus. So you can edit the uh, text document. So go to Google again. Go to uh, type in note pad plus plus. Go to note plus plus to org. Go to downloads and download the current version and get the installer and then you install it. I've already got it, so I don't need to. And the server you're going to be running is Bucket, where you can go to bukkit.org. You get their forums page and they have plugins that you guys can get and sort out. I've put in a couple of plugins with this pack. Essentials, permissions and stuff like that. So you're going to download this folder. There will be four things in it. Plugins folder which has got all the plugins in it. And two thingies where you just double click and it will run it in the background. And that will be your server. And then the Java which you don't need to touch. So first off you want to go to the plugins folder. You want to go to the essentials. This is where your Note++ Plus comes in. You right click on configurations and edit in Note++. Plus Plus Plus. And what you can do is you're going to go down and through this you can change like you can restrict items so you can stop people using TNT, you can prevent lava flow, uh, fire spread and things like that and you can disable fall damage if you don't want to die when you fall. So then we want to go to permissions, right click, open it with notepad, and down here is where you put all your stuff. So here where I've got Free Fire Riot, you need to put your your Minecraft name. And then if you want to give anybody else permissions, you put you copy this, paste it, and then change that to their name. And then you can put what group they're in. So there's three groups here. There's default, there's moderator, and there's admin. So moderator can use general.time and that sort of thing. And these guys can use that. And admins have star permissions. That means everything. So that's that. So after you've done that, you're going to run which one of you want. This is how much RAM you're going to use. So I'm just going to quickly run this one. Right, so it's going to give you an error. You're going to close it. And it's going to create all these random documents. Open... No, in fact, just run it again, and then it'll run, it'll prepare your world, so I'll just quickly run up Minecraft, and log in. Uh, I've got fraps running, so it's okay. Okay, so now you can see world edit and stuff that's been, uh, permissions is loaded, uh, things working fine, so go connect to our server. To connect to your own server you go to 127.0.0.1 and the way your friends connect to you, if you go on Hamachi then next to your name is your IP which your friends can connect through. So we connect to our server and you can see I've joined the game on the uh, little server thing over here 
So on this, we need to give ourselves operate operator. So go back to the window, and you're going to type in op space, then the name. Oops, foot to the space. There we go, it says you're now an operator. So now we can use all the admin commands. So if I uh, quickly just change my controls. So we can do slash help. And you can see there's 18 pages of help, which you guys can go through. Like you can do warps and areas and things like that. But, um, the one good thing about this, the mod I put in, is World Editor, which gives you like this little axe, where you can set one position and set a second position. And this helps you if you're building a nice city, you want to build a house real quick. So you can do slash slash set and a number which you want to set it to. So I'm just going to set one to stone. So you see, I just set this to stone, and then if I just quickly give myself some stone. Himself 64 stone. Jump up here. Set a second mark, and then you can do walls. So you do slash slash walls one. And there's a wall. So yeah, um, some nice plugins here. Um, this Hamachi I've just made in this tutorial will be open if you guys want to join it. Uh, you can come play with us on our server. Um, so yeah, have fun playing with the new mods. Have fun hosting your servers. If you come on the British Minecraft uh, Hamachi server, we'll join you and give you tips and how to keep it running nicely and for you and your friends. So enjoy it. Uh, all three links will be in the description for the server Hamachi and no plus plus plus. So thanks again. See you later.